Greetings fellow modelers. The last model, possibly before Christmas, presented the F14 Tomcat from Fiddler's Green. Difficult? Yes. Beautiful? Yes. Let's begin. Visit fiddlersgreen.net. Here, you're going to find so many different models to start your journey in paper modeling. Let's look at the 14. And here we have the Grumman. A 14 Tomcat. This is at 100% scale. And here we have the fuselage, the tail fin, the left hand wing, the right hand, and that's sheet one. And then sheet two, it is the main fuselage, the stabilizers, our elevons and we have the engine nassels canopy the wing fence and here we have a diagram of how to put it together I thought it should be a simple build nice beautiful but there are challenges the tools we'll need are the following an exacto knife or any sharp knife doesn't really matter we have toothpick, and let me tell you, beautiful to have. And I have cutter, nippers, clippers, doesn't matter. Scissors, a moss. And this is my shape tool, tool to pick up glue, multi-purpose. Tweezers. I should be a salesman for tweezers according to one of my users. Love it. And cake decorating tool. Have it really for the rounding of edges. Super glue. You need it to fix things very quickly. And it also makes paper really hard quickly. A steel edge rule. And of course, Aline's Tacky Glue. This glue, I will recommend for the rest of my life. And of course, a simple pencil to mark things what needed. In cutting out parts, it is my own preference because this way I'll focus on what needs to be done. So we just cut our parts out and then we focus on what we are building. Let's get rid of this. The wing assembly is one of the easiest parts of the model. We're looking at it and pay attention to that crank, okay? So we're going to mark where that crank is right there Score it with the tweezer and then the main line. We're going to cut that part out because when it folds, it will be slightly different and we pay attention to that carefully. And then we cut the excess pieces off. Fold where we score. And pretty much this will be it. We're going to take a piece of scrap paper here. This scrap paper we will put between the wing to strengthen it so it won't warp, it won't fold, it won't droop. And that's it. We're just clipping this off now, just for the time being. When the time come, we will shorten it a lot more. We repeat the same with the lower left hand side. But here you see, I'm just putting lightly the word bottom on it. Hehe. <laughs> um, so that way we identify which side of the fuselage the wing will go on. And that's it, pretty much for the wing. Easy, yes? The main fuselage assembly, it's a matter of cut and fold. So carefully follow the lines, cut where it needs to be cut, and we're going to fold along where you have the red line. Take our steel rule. You notice I was using the thin part and I use a thicker part and fold. That's where the wing will set. I put small holes where indicated on the drawing. This is where I'll put my toothpick after the fold to mark exactly where the wing should be aligned when gluing in place. We're not going to make it swing wing, we're going to glue it in place. So here you see I'm doing a little test. Good. And it works. At this point, I should have glued 
just the inside where the fold is, but we'll do that a little bit later. So the engine intake, this here, we'll mark it, we're gonna cut it out, and then we fold, glue the front half, roll the back half. And pretty much this is what I thought it was. And then a simple matter of once we form it, we glue it in place, we attach it to the main fuselage. Again, this is what I thought. It's a beautiful model. It's really, truly a beautiful model. And here you see me now testing where on the fuselage, based on the drawing, where it should be attached. And this is when I realized if I did it, there would be a problem. And I did. I realized that once I did it, we had an issue. So I'm going to fade it out here. And let's begin again with the other side and show how it's done. First, you see I'm putting lines. I'm cutting into where the engine exhaust is. We do that. That's the first thing I realize. Secondly, we get rid of the excess sheet. We score where it needs to be scored. And then notice now I am cutting along where it will have its fold. This is important. We bend it. We use a toothpick to slowly curve where both sides would meet. We fold over those parts. We use our knife handle to bend the tail section and we join like we did with our first nacelle. And now we're going to put it together. The challenge I learned from putting the first one on, I've now applied to the second one. You see where you see A and B? It said that we should put it here. No, we're going to pull this all the way out to the very tip because if you attach it where it was, the tail end would be exposed right there, which it shouldn't be here. No. So what we're going to do is slide our engine pod right up to the very tip of where the intake on the main fuselage is. And that's where we'll glue it. Okay. So we glue at the very front edge of that fuselage intake. We put glue on where B is halfway up and then we join it. We then join the outer edge of the nacelle against the fuselage. We bend the parts we made those slices for to take the engine exhaust. And here we're cutting it out. You see, so far in building it, it presented its own set of challenges. Here you see we're cutting again another set into the engine nozzle, the exhaust. We're using our brush handle to curve it a little more. So that's how you have that compound curve of the engine exhaust. And it works out pretty well. We now use both the brush handle or the cake decorating tool to curve the front end. Put a little slice there so we can bend the nozzle down a bit. We'll put glue on the inside of it, along the edges only, not in the middle. And now we're sliding it over, not under, the engine nestle extension and we hold in place with our tweezer 
God bless tweezers, man. And there we have it. Pretty much that's it. Now, the forward fuselage cockpit assembly. Let's put this aside and deal with this. We're going to cut these parts out. And again, remember, this is a fun scale. It's not 100% accurate, but you know what? If built just right enough, you have a beautiful model. That red line is where it's supposed to take a fold. So we're going to fold it. And after we fold, then we use our brush handle to round it. Instead of cutting the tabs, I put several slices. You will see why in the end. We use our knife handle to make larger rolls. Brush handle to make smaller rolls. And once we do it, now you see we can join the front half first. Line that up. Flatten it. And then we do the rear section. And pretty much that's it. Make sure you check the alignment. We reinforce the part what had the fold in it. And we're going to now glue the top half. Nice. Lovely. And that's it, pretty much. Let's do the radar nose area. We're cutting it out. We roll it with our toothpick. And then pay attention to what I'm going to do here. We're going to make it, try make it a compound curve. So we're putting several slices along where the glue area is. We're cutting just little cuts. And we use our cake decorating tool to try round it. We'll put a little more pressure on the inside edges. We're going to glue it. And once in position, look at this. So you see, it doesn't look like a cone, but it has slight curve. And then we exaggerate it by doing it a little more. Put some glue on this side, not on the tabs. And slide in place. And pretty much that's it. Just check the alignment of the shark mouth, the teeth, and you're good. Beautiful. Nice. And now, the challenge that had me going for about an hour. I slide it in according to the plan and fuselage. Too big. And when I try to align the top, what happened? The fuselage stuck in the air. Something is not really working out right now with the model and I had to find out why. I tried several times. It still was pointing in the air and the top was huge. Now I know I was in problem. This space we need to deal with. What do I do? I decided, okay, let me cut into the rear. Maybe if I cut it from a small V, it would bring it down, but the tail part was still wide of the fuselage. It's not thin. What am I going to do? If you look at it, you see that profile of it stuck in the air, the noise pointing in the air. Look in the upper right hand corner. Here's our profile. You see that profile of the Tomcat? The nose should be pointing down, not up. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut along panel lines straight up. In the very first point, I cut both sides so we get it down. And then I cut at the very edge of the leading edge on the fuselage. I cut up. This way now, I seem to be able to bend it down. And it worked. Worked a bit. Carefully put it again, align the tail end, and then I found out I have to cut a little further up. Now, here's the thing. I form a V in the back, and I think I made three sets, although I showed two. 
we made sure align the tail area first glue those area on the side first and then I glue the overlapping joints so that the model will sit the fuselage will sit on the back of the main fuselage if that makes sense here and that's how I got it the tail part once it sits down I was able to bring the tail area of it together and then we glued overlap for the fuselage and that's how I tackled it eventually it worked and that took a while but that was my workaround now I'm not saying it's hundred percent right but that did work for me let's look at putting on the main wing we cut off the excess card that was there we put glue and we lock it in place using the toothpick to get the right angle and to glue in the right position the stabilizer we're going to use our time honored toothpick method put a little hole where the stabilizer should be put a hole on the opposite end make sure it is not punching through the center and we cut our stabilizer out so that way we make sure of two things one it's level it's not flopping all over the place we glue only the very edge of our stabilizer clip the excess off put a little glue here put a little glue here and lock it in place now here's the beauty of it we could put it with the elevons down okay but you know what Let, let's just get where we are to know where you set it look for a red line on the side of your fuselage it tells you where the tip of the elevator is supposed to be for the rudder i split a toothpick make holes in the top slide it and then we're going to treat it the same way i've always treated even the landing gears is the same method for the rudder or fin make sure it's on a flat surface so it doesn't warp we cut off the excess pieces and there we have it we do the second one put glue here and we put it in place now pay careful attention to what i'm doing here just a tack of super glue to hold it now the rudders are not straight up okay they are at a slight angle so pay attention to that very important the canopy assembly is take your time cut beyond the line that's indicated on the kit and you have to remember this kit is almost 30 years old so give it a little break it did quite well I cut both sides it helps in when we glue both together we can curve it a little more and it forms better after we do that we cut off the excess parts we roll it with our brush handle and glue the four sides and curve as necessary once we're finished doing that we cut the excess off the edges and we glue in place it seems simple but it makes such a big difference when you do it this way and that's it for the canopy the wing fences not a big deal I just put it in here so you know these are things you need to put on the top because they also sell the model even at fun scale to let it look a little more real and there is a positions in which you put the four fences as seen here and pretty much that's it do not forget the two that are underneath the fuselage the nose tip now it's a simple yet profoundly effective way to do it I cut the edges of the toothpick off shave it down and put it in the nose and that was it lock in place with super glue make sure it is straight and that was it we paint it and beautiful so landing gear assembly after we put the ventral fin this is where my recording had stopped 
once I completed the nose gear, it was crazy. So to see how I did the nose gear, please look at the F100 I built. It was the very same method of doing the double nose wheel. Look for it in that and you'll see how I did that. The main gear, we put a small hole, put a sliver of toothpick here, fold over, and just like we do the time-honored thing of strengthening the wheels, we did it with this. The landing gear, how I did it here, was similar to how we did the TA183 in an earlier video, so you can look at the detail for that. We cut up both and we attach to the side. Now, although I put it on the side here, you can put it all the way up under the wing because later on it does help with leveling the model. Here you see I put a little slice here and that's where I had put my landing gear in. You can make it shorter and put it all the way up under the wing, right? It does make a difference. I'm pointing it out now because I did mine and I had to do a little adjustment to get it to just stay level. The nose wheel now, we put a slot in the leading edge, put our nose wheel in and pretty much that's it. And we come to the favorite part, the finishing. This is what will sell your model, never neglect it. Find the closest matching color you can to the ghost gray and go to town on it. I use a cotton swab or Q-tip to make sure that the colors blend in. And that's it. Just go over the model bit by bit. And on this, I spent probably, hmm, say 30 minutes to get it all done. Each time I paint, I blend, I try to blend the colors in and it really does help with the overall look of the model. Come back here, where are you going? And then paint the canopy with a bit of mixture of watercolor paint, blue and silver. Paint in the shark teeth. Nice. And this is what I did finally with the anti-glare at the front. The wheels, the edges of the wheel, all this makes a huge difference. Presented the F14 A Tomcat from Fiddler's Green. I want to thank all my Patreon sponsors, especially a new one, Gutter Dameron. Thank you for joining and sorry if I butchered your name. Until then, my friends, take care, walk good, and as always, one love.